Welcome to Gulbidi Island. I'm your host for today's episode. My name is Gerard Neil Yateman and this segment will be focusing on caring for country. Today we are here at Orpheus Island. The traditional name of the Manbara people is Gubaldi. I'd like to pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging and respect the ongoing spiritual connection to this country and sea country. Let's see what's in the big house today. Let's see what's behind the square window. Hello everyone. Welcome to story time. As you can see, I've forgot my glasses here today, so just bear with me. I can't see a story that we've been uh, told from our elders uh, a few nights ago um, about uh, the Palm Islands, uh, the uh, Great Palm Island in particular. Uh, story of the Manbar people from there. So I just hope you enjoy and take with you the moral of the story. Once upon a time, there was a young girl of the Great Palm Island. She was very stubborn. Mum, Dad, can I go for a swim? No. No. Why not? Because uh, you have to respect the elders. Respect the elders in the Lord. Nah, so she I went up into the hills of the Great Palm Island to a place called Bamba Creek. The old people who she left had told her not to go, but she went anyway. And while she was swimming, along came the rainbow serpent, and the traditional Manbara name, it's Gubal. Gubal ate her and took her all the way around the Great Palm Islands. As he came, he came through Carver Snake Creek, named after the rainbow serpent of the Great Palm Island then to Magnetic Island. The parents, who were so lost without their daughter, said, we have to get the girl. So they went to see the old witch doctor. The witch doctor followed the, the young girl's trail from Bamba Creek. At Magnetic, he found that the girl was inside the stomach of the gobble. They didn't want to hurt or kill or disturb the snake, so they went and got some green ants. They put it, the green ants, inside the snake's mouth. And as they did, the snake spewed out the young girl. The young girl was asleep, so the old man took her back to Palm Island. The parents left her sleeping for a couple of days until one day she woke up. She didn't remember what happened. The moral of this story is don't break the law and respect the land and sea and the animals that live there because they have a place too. And you remember to listen to your parents and the elders and the things that they tell you. Thank you for listening to this story. Let's see what's behind the arch window. <laughs> the circle window.
kids. Thanks for watching. Uh, wave hands. <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed a video of demonstrating caring for land and sea country. Woo! Shopping through. Oh, my shoulder, man. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's oh, oh, shape. Ah. That was awesome. Come over here, big boy. Ah. Right, you give me. Oh, yeah, you take oh, that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Amazing! Alright. <laughs> all of you. Yeah, all of you. 100% come together. Oh! Touch each other. That's it, really close. And now back. Okay, you're gonna need to go real far. Oh, I'm like, touching my hand. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. so it's like, like platted, uh, like knotted, uh, like sew it. You know, like how you're actually at the scene. Yeah. will be telling you about. Oh God! Oh God! What do we say? Oh. Oh. Bye, kids. Everybody, look. Say something.